Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, as you guys can tell, things seem to be headed back to a sense of normalcy. Optimism for the future and even financial security are on the rise, but small and mid-sized business owners are still seeking assistance. Well, with small Business Week kicking off on May 1st. We're taking a deep dive today into the state of small and mid-sized businesses, and we have the perfect guest joining us today. We're excited to welcome to our program today, Wendy Tassetta. We're going to talk to Wendy not only about what she found from a new study that talks about small business confidence, but also the challenges they are facing as well. Wendy is the Senior Vice President for Nationwide Small Business and Channel Chief for Verizon Business, so we're really excited about her time with us. Wendy, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So, Wendy, I want to talk about, first of all, what you've been able to find. How are small and mid-sized businesses feeling about their recovery? So we have been doing these surveys throughout COVID, and honestly, I didn't know what what to expect on this one. But the headline is 71% of small businesses say they are more optimistic about their future than they were a year ago. And I think that's great news for all of us. Such a great point. And we've been hearing a lot, though, about the challenges, though, with businesses, Wendy. How have businesses innovated amid COVID-19, both in terms of their employees and also customer engagement? One of the things that's changed is that small businesses are talking a lot more about labor. Where do I find people? And small businesses that are adapting are finding that some work does not have to be done locally. So they are looking for employees across the country to take care of some of their tasks. Fifty percent of the small business owners said they have hired people not local in the last year. Now, there's a little bit of an offset problem that happens when you do that. I like looking up the local business and seeing a, a local area code that I recognize. So how does that work when my employee is in another state from my business? Well, we've created a product called OneTalk. It is a cloud-based phone system, so your local number can ring anywhere. And that means you can hire where, where labor is available and still give a local experience to your customer. And that's a win-win for everyone. Love that. Love that. So you, you brought up a really good point then, Wendy. Uh, why should small and mid-sized businesses continue to invest, especially when it comes to the technical capabilities that are out there? So the stat that keeps me up at night is that 50% of small businesses will go out of business in two years if they have a data breach. That is a no-brainer. That's something that every business owner has to be thinking about. Now, here's why it matters. We all, none of us really planned to work from home. So a lot of business owners said, you already have Internet. Great, you can work from home. But now when you think about it, Do you really want your customer's credit card information on the same Wi-Fi network as my Netflix account, my kids playing PS5, and doing their homework? Probably not. You want to keep that information secure. You want to make sure that it is protected and that you have peace of mind for your business and for your customers. So we've launched a product called Business Internet. It is a plug-and-play solution. I can do it. You can do it. You can be up and running in less than five minutes. And it is Internet speed for business, high-speed Internet everywhere in the country. And business owners have to be thinking about how do I get the Internet access, but how do I protect it and make sure I don't have to worry about what Netflix movie is being binged this week next to my customer's data. Well, some really good practical advice for small and mid-sized businesses. Again, everyone, Winnie Tassetta has been our guest. Winnie's been talking with us not only about the state of a business uh, for those that are small and mid-sized, but also where they can go for solutions. Wendy, where can they go for more information? Of course, on the Internet, verizon.com forward slash small business. And go and check out Small Business Digital Ready, completely free platform, 
built for small businesses with their feedback if you want more tools and resources on how to thrive as we all try to navigate what comes next. Thank you so much, Wendy. Really appreciate the time and looking forward to having you back with us again. Sounds great. Have a great day. We thank you as well, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.